Chang here. It is uh, April 7th and the training tip of the week uh, or training tip Tuesday actually has nothing to do with guns. We're going to talk about uh, how to take off gloves. And the reason why we're doing that is uh, because I'm seeing a lot of people out and about who are going to shop for their essentials and they're wearing uh, nitrile gloves, they're wearing uh, vinyl gloves. And I watch them, you know, and I understand it's trying to protect yourself from other people's germs uh, or the virus. But what I see people do is they leave the gloves on, they reach into their pockets, pull out their wallets, reach in their pockets, pull out their phones, dial their phones, right, and then hold it up to their face. Well, what's the point? Uh, yeah, you may not have anything on your hands, but you've just contaminated everything else. On top of that, when I see people take off their gloves, they're not taking them off correctly and contaminating those hands that uh, they thought were uh, previously clean. So we're going to run through this. The methodology I'm going to teach it actually comes from um, the CPR first aid classes that I do. Um, in case you guys were not aware, I am a, an instructor with the American Heart Association. I'm also an instructor for the American Safety and Health Institute, and I'm actually also a faculty member for the American Safety and Health Institute, um, so I train their trainers. So uh, I teach this class on a weekly basis. Uh, it's the first aid CPR uh, AED class. So this is the methodology that the American Safety and Health Institute actually teaches. If you learn a different methodology and it looks a little bit different, I'm not saying that your, your methodology is incorrect. All I'm saying is that this is the, the one that I teach the most. This is actually the one that I prefer. Um, and as long as you're able to take your gloves off safely without contaminating yourself, your methodology is probably not incorrect. It may not be preferred. Uh, or it may be preferred by a different organization, but this is out. This is going to be done just for folks who have never had this sort of training before, um, so we can keep everybody safe. So I shouldn't have to tell you how to put on gloves, but I'm going to put on my gloves here. Hopefully, I can stay in camera frame here. Um, imagine I just took these out of the box. All right now. I'm going to make sure that I, that I start with the wrist that is most constricted. So notice that I have a wristwatch on this side, um, but I have nothing over here. Now, if I was wearing an ID bracelet or anything like that on this side, I would look to see which is closer to the hand. The thing that's closest to the hand, that's the side I'm going to start with. The reason for that is this. I do not take off gloves like that. Imagine there's blood, pee, and poop. I think this is the issue with a lot of people here who are contaminating themselves is they don't realize that there is stuff all over their hands or the gloves, let's say. And just because they can't see it doesn't mean that it doesn't transfer when you do something like this to try to take off your gloves. Imagine there's blood, pee, and poop all over this. At no point would you go like this to get that stuff onto your skin, possibly infecting yourself. You know, we don't want to get contaminated. So what I'm going to do here is knowing that this is the most constricted wrist, I'm actually going to start here. But what I want to do is to make sure that I'm not just taking the glove and going like this and pulling it off. All right. Notice how the gloves designed. The cuffs are actually smaller than uh, the width of the cuff is smaller than the width of the hand itself. Therefore, these gloves are designed not to come off like this. I have to actually get this cuff opening large enough to actually get my hand through. So more often than not, I tell people to start here. If your wristwatch is covering it, you can start at your wristwatch. What my goal is, is I'm trying to get this opening right here as large as possible so I can get things to come out of the glove. Now, if I wore my glove like this, I would start here, right, right where the base of the palm meets the wrist, and I would pull open as far as I can to get that opening of the glove as large as possible, hopefully you can see that. Now, with that opening large, I want to make sure I'm not poking my way through the glove, not popping it with a fingernail or whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and very gently, very slowly invert the glove and slide this hand out. Notice my hands are moving in opposite directions. Now I'm gonna maintain control of this glove in the gloved hand, so the dirty glove that just came off, I'm going to crumple that and trap all of it inside a fist. Now when I move to the other hand, 
I don't want to grab like this. Again, imagine blood pee and poop all over this. I've just contaminated this hand and heaven forbid I have a really deep paper cut here. I've just possibly infected myself with something. So what I'd like to do is actually get one finger inside the cuff, all right? Now, be gentle and be careful when you're doing this. If this gloves a little tight and you go, uh, what have I done here? I've contaminated myself. So I'm gonna get one in here. Now, resist the urge because we always want leverage. We feel that this is pretty hard to do. So a lot of times we will flip our hand around like this and pull. The issue with this is that if I have any sort of fingernail or there's any sort of weakness in the glove, I'll pop the glove and possibly contaminate myself. So I wanna maintain my palm facing my forearm. So I'll get one finger in here, I get a second finger in here, and notice how I'm now starting to, to open up this cuff on the glove. I maybe get my thumb in here, open up that cuff even more. Now with that cuff open, I'm going to now invert the glove very slowly, very gently, Try to invert that glove. Notice my arms are moving in two different directions. Now, your hand may slip off at this point. Remember, this inner surface of the glove is technically clean, all right? You don't have to avoid touching this part. A lot of times, people's hands will slip off and they'll bring this hand and put it over here and they'll say, oh, I can't touch the glove, it's dirty, and they'll start going like this. And they'll just keep going like this and nothing will happen. This leads to some frustration and they start trying to fling the glove off. But when I fling the glove off, what happens? I'm aerosolizing all the stuff that's possibly in here and spraying that around. So just remember, if your fingers slide off, that's fine. Go ahead and grab this clean surface of the glove. Don't grab inside, grab right around here. Go ahead and pull your hands slowly, gently in opposite directions, thereby removing the glove off that hand and trapping the contaminants inside the glove. Now, if this had uh, blood pee or poop on it, I would be telling you in our first aid class, I'd be telling you, hey, this has got to be disposed of in a biohazard container. Now, if you're out doing your shopping for your essentials, you're pretty sure you don't have blood pee or poop on this, go ahead and throw this in the trash. Please do not be one of those people that we've all, you know, we've all seen the memes out there. People are just throwing their surgical masks on the ground. They're throwing their gloves on the ground. Listen, throw it in the trash, please. All right, this way we can keep everybody safe and we don't look like a bunch of idiots throwing garbage all over the place. But after you're done with these, you can go ahead and dispose of them. Um, wash your hands as soon as you get home. Um, soap and water, remember it's soap and water for 20 seconds. Sing the happy birthday song twice while you're lathering. Make sure you're actually getting your fingernails in here. Backs of your thumbs, a lot of people forget the backs of their thumbs, forget the backs of their hands, all right? Get all of that, make sure you give it a good rinse. So that's our non-gun training video for, for, uh, for this week. I hope you find this of use. Please share this. There's a lot of people out there who do not know how to take off their gloves. Um, and at that, I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please click the, the, the thumbs up there and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell um, so that you get notified that uh, whenever we put up new videos. And uh, when the range, range is open, I'll see you guys out on the range. Everybody stay safe.